Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Far Cry 6. I'm your host, Cuz Fade. It's episode 2. We have to go in this fort and get the depleted uranium for Juan. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try this power station entry. There is what? There's a lock on the inside, and we can hop up here. We can say, hey... Give me the gun with the silencer on it. Do that. We're trespassing over here. That gets us down there and up through there. Okay. So let's take a look at who else we can see over here. We got some enemies tagged. If we could see anybody new, that would be great. We'll want to get that alarm taken care of as soon as possible, though. That's the biggest thing. That's going to go inside there. Okay. Well, let's make a run for it. Better watch myself. I have never gone in this way before. But we have a silenced weapon, so hopefully this will be a, a good thing for us. Oh, good. Okay. I have no idea if anybody else is going to come into this room, but if they do... Here's the key. The key. Good deal. Get me Juan's uranium. I'm not sure I want to go out that way. I can't get out that way. Some doors are not open for you. Okay, there's the lieutenant. He's the big one we gotta worry about. What we have to do is get out here and get that. Yep. There's a guy right down there. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Found the armory. The uranium is inside. I just need to get this thing turned off before people show up. This lieutenant's coming around. Kind of. That's not... Is that... Uh, I didn't get the message. Is there another alarm on this base? Oh, crud. Maybe there is. Okay, let's get this in case we have to make a hasty exit. The uranium. Juan, you didn't fucking tell me I was stealing uranium. It was supposed to be a surprise. Now bring it back to me. What if this shit kills me? It's depleted uranium, Danny. Stop being such a pussy. There are rabbit dogs that must be put down. It is your duty to inform okay. your local protectorate in the patria. If you have any information leading to their whereabouts. He's up there. Usually you get a message that'll say if you've disabled all alarms. And since I didn't get it, I don't think I have. There is... Let's see. Is there any other boxes in here? I don't think so. I think we can just get out of here if we want to. Because this isn't a place that you can take and it becomes a fort that... That, uh... That you keep. That the rebels keep. So I think the smartest thing is just to get out of here. If there's a way out, which there is. Okay, one. Anybody down there? There's somebody. There he is. Okay. I don't have a scope on this thing yet, so my aim isn't going to be real great. Oh, geez. Looks like I'm going to have to swim to get out this way. Okay. Well, let's try to take him out then. Okay, there we go. The 
deploy parachute. Oh no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to swim. It's adult swim. You swim a lot slower in this game than you do in Far Cry 3, which is actually kind of cool because it's a little more realistic. So, All right, it's a boogie. That's pretty much the cleanest it's ever gone for me. I have a tendency to get uh, destroyed there. Oh, is there... Oh, look, there is a crate. Darn it. You can see it. It's a spray paint crate, I think. Let's go kill these guys, then. Okay. Can you kill him? Oh, he's walking away. What the heck is that? I can shoot this guy right in the face. Okay, where is that crate? It's in here somewhere. What is this? There it is. That's it. Oh, it's a... It's a charm. Okay. So it's not an actual crate. And the other one, I think, is just... Ex Explosive stuff. Where is it? We could just kill everybody here. Might be the easiest thing to do. Plus, there's a bunch of goodies here that we should be collecting. Because we're going to need them for bandito operations. This guy. He looks a little dead. Before the lieutenant makes his rounds over here. Because here he comes. How you doing, boss man? That's why we like to do the armor piercing stuff. Because it goes right through those helmets. You should be, but you're not going to be. There's one guy left. Where's he at? And there's two... I see two crates. There's not one. They're overlapped on top of each other. Okay. Well, it's, oh, one is... Oh, it's down in there. I forgot. There's a... It's not a I don't want to call it a jail cell, but there's a, there's a hidden locked place down here. we have here? We got those. Where are we at? Right here. Here we go. Okay. This is where you come in through the cave. And there are people here. Done. Okay, now we gotta go get this stuff. What is there over here? My problem is every single time I swim in through this cave and you have to come up here on the end of one of these dock ladders, they see me every single time. Like they're eagle eyed down here. You can't get through that door, you don't have a key. I don't, at least I don't think. Yeah, it just says locked and it'll tell you if you need a key, so. Come in through here. This is the big deal. It is the autocrat pistol. Those weapon reloads right there are great. Because I tend to use a lot of uh, grenades. I love the grenade launcher. So we took everybody out. That's nice. That makes it easy.
Juan, we got your uranium. Now it's going to rain a little bit. How nice. All right, one. Now, let's see. Like I said, I tend not to fast travel in this game, but oh, there's a anti-aircraft, which is why we shouldn't fast travel, except I don't have grenades yet. Oh, can I get back there? I can't. Let's do it that way. Then. Like I said, I normally don't fast travel because I like to just get lost in the game. But that's when I'm just playing casually for myself, where we had where I'm putting this on the channel now in episodes. I don't want to waste everybody's time with me just wandering around the jungle. We're still going to do some of that because that's how you run into some pretty cool encounters. And there is some unintentional comedy stuff in this game that is pretty hilarious. Oh, yeah, one. <laughs> this is the Solver Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. This thing is awesome. I love that they added this to the game. It's like a rocket launcher. See, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you resolve it, Juan. So do I. I love Juan. He's just great. Hola. Great character. Tostador. <laughs> Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. But I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head oh, yeah. to the workbench and I'll Hello, show you. Onions have layers. Supremos aren't just simple tools. So let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen is Supremo Bond. You need it to make your gadgets. Yeah, and that's what's awesome about these things is that you get you get your gadget slots and you can put all kinds of different gadgets in there. So things like grenades and sticky grenades and sticky EMP grenades, Picking some of my favorites. Daddy. So this is a safe space. There's no wrong. These are the only ones you can do early. Acquire Supremo from Ron's officers, arms dealers, a canister of highly flammable fuel. This is smoke grenade, throwing knives. Those are kind of nice. Uh, grenades, dynamite. Perception grenade. No, I don't care so much about that. The baseball is for distracting nearby enemies. That's that's a fair one to have. The one I'd like to create is probably a grenade, though. I like to have that. What's it take to create that? Two Supremo Bonds. Okay, we're going to do this. Then. What is this? Perception grenade. Yeah. And we don't have any durable plastic for some of these others, so we have recycled glass. We're going to use that one then. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Yep. So then, go into Arsenal and say, we got that backpack, we got this, this, this. Okay, that's good. All right, Clara's going to give us a job. Juan, go talk to Clara. always awesome. To put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. I agree, Juan. Let's go do it. Yep, so your gadgets. Q for the weapon wield when you're on the keyboard. Middle mouse button to toss them. They end up being fantastically useful. There are many different kinds, so you can adapt your play style to how you want to play. It's one of the things I love. There's the wrist gear. So we can go back in here and say, yeah, I want to use this because it greatly improves general defense while sprinting. Running around trying not to get shot. Good. You're here. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Vebiro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now we're going to finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. Hit you, that slave camp hard. You mean Suerte. I am going to finish this. 
<laughs> Not we. What's this we stuff? All right. Let's head out. So what's fun is later on when you get the squirrel suit. told me before I strapped onto my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. Yep, so the Supremos are pretty cool. Pretty fun. But one of the cool things I was going to say is when you get the squirrel suit, later on you can go to a location that you've already been in. Instead of a fast travel option, there'll be an option to to uh, airdrop in. So you can airdrop into a known location that's friendly that you've been to and you can squirrel suit your way through the air to, to really close to your target. And it's just a lot of fun to do. That's the whole thing about this particular game is that the the easiest way to say it is it just does a lot of things that are fun. It's just a very fun game. And the older I get, the more I care about that in particular. It's, I care about having fun. I just want to have fun. I think the older we get, the more responsibilities we get, the crazier things get in our lives. The more we just need some fun to, to hey, counterbalance it. Hey, bola. We found a sacred site dedicated to Triada. There's treasure in there, but it's guarded by spirits. I don't want any part of that shit. I wish you luck, compai. Thanks. So, one of the things I said in my Far Cry 3, what makes this game great video, is how, you know, I love the Tomb Raider part of the game, and I wish they had done more of that in future games, especially in Far Cry 6. There's a little bit of it. And when you find these, um, it's not showing it yet, but when you find these purple spots on the map that have, like, some of this yarn story stuff going on. Um, you can get a little bit of that, just not a lot. Okay, let's see. We're going to... Yeah, we could... I think we could just dive down there and get over there. Let's just parachute our way down. And I love the weather effects in this game. Uh, the other day I was playing and I saw a helicopter get hit by a lightning bolt and explode. And I just... It's some of that random stuff that's so good. That the mud, once it starts to rain, the environment, the water reflections. I mean, they did a fantastic job with this game. Which, again, is why I have so much hope for what they're going to do with Star Wars Outlaws. Really excited about that game. All right, so this person. I remember this now. This guy doesn't like you at first, which is understandable. Some people are just standoffish that way. Finally. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami, but instead my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. So, let's put that on. Yep. Fuego mitts. Very nice. And the hazmat mask. The Fuego mitts, I pretty much end up using for the whole entire game. They're really good for uh, because when on fire, the flames are automatically put out. So it's kind of hard to beat that. And then, yeah, protect your eyes from poison. Okay. Yeah, right tool for the right job. I'm hearing that a lot lately. So off we go. Listen, Julio. 
Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Rojas. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military? Marksman? Close assault? What's your thing? All the above. With guns. <laughs> we get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. One step ahead of you, buddy. All right, what do we have? A guy with his lots guys. See the Viro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks. Yep. See. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. And there is the, same idea with the alarm. The They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. Oh man. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this reveal bullshit. Yeah, but I want to get there before that alarm happens. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento de libertad. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao. See, bella so I gotta. Ciao. I'm gonna have to go down that side. There's a guy over there. I can probably go up and kill him. Then sneak around the outside, come down through there, get up in that tower. I could shoot that thing from there, I think. That's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. All right, let's go. I got a fumigador. I don't want to take anybody out yet. I don't want to shoot anybody too early. Oh boy. I just have to make sure I get up there before that guy comes down. Alright, now... Hold on. That's too far away. Can't hit it from there. The scoped rifle and a 10 times scope, we could do it, but... Not now. All right. Is he wandering over this way? Looks like it, but... He's walking over this way, but he's not doing anything. Okay. Now we gotta try and get in here. Get in through that door. Can we get in through this door? Yes, we can. Brilliant. That's all I need. If we get the alarm, we're golden. That guy and his dog just moved. Okay. 
Check on that. Don't. Don't come over here. Gotta take out that alarm. There it is. It's gone. We're golden. Yeah, get down here. We'll burn this fucking place to the ground. Okay. This shit's wild now. I'm out of it. Grab the map. What are those? Give me that thing. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh, yeah, USB stick. Got it. No alarm means all you guys are going to die now. Okay. Now. Let's go have some fun. We want to clear this place out so we can loot the heck out of it. Actually, up on top of that tower would be the best spot, but... There we go. Can we get that thing to blow up? How many shots does it take? You want to come through here? You gonna come through there? Helmet gone. Oh, come on. Kill that thing. There we go. Ah, okay, fine. Let's see. Grenade. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. So now, destroy the yellow poison tanks. Dang it, where'd you guys come from? Where'd the backup come from? Scope. Yeah, so these guys show up no matter what. Okay. There we go. She's down. I need to go take care of the fields. Stay up there, buddy. Let's go. Grab the gasoline. You gotta get halfway through Far Cry 3 before you get that sucker flamethrower what else we gotta blow up here buddy there's some tanks right there oh give me that we like seeing that. Blow it up. 47%. The music in this game is great. I mean, maybe Latin music isn't your thing, but I love it. Hey. Oh, no. 
this is the bad part is I don't have my healing stuff yet. So what are we looking for here? I'm looking for those yellow tanks. They blow up real nice and good. There we go. There's some right there. Danny Rojas. Am I out? Yeah, I'm out of those, but I still got these. Alright. Oh, look, we got you guys here. That's gonna blow up in my face if I. That's why you got those gloves. There we go. That's the wrong gun. Oh, here we go. Ah! Let's get out of there. Oh, look. Right what we have here. I need more grenades. You keep throwing grenades. That's fine. We are. We're good. Okay, but they're still... I don't think there's anything that we have to blow up, is there? No. These guys, I think on this particular mission, they just keep coming, so... I think they're infinite. Which is, which is a rarity, actually, because almost everywhere else in the game you can clear. But... Hey. Whatever. Lots of gasoline. We'll need that for some bandito operations. <laughs> it's just too much fun. Too much fun. Beautiful. Well, my friend, that was entertaining. Oh, yeah. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... <laughs> Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See. Si. Listen, if you were good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. There we go. Wonderful. God, it's a great looking game, isn't it? Just fantastic. I think I lost them. Okay, now. Or two. We need to get back to camp. And we can fast travel there. Oh, but look. What is this? Oh, so there's a cache there. Oh, we gotta go back for it. Sorry. Have to go back for it. Not gonna leave it there, because it could be a weapon or something in this early in the game when we need as many new weapons as we can get. Or gunpowders, or resolver. We gotta go back and get it, so. Where is it? It's up top? Oh, jeez. Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Yeah, so let's go get this thing up this ladder. Still had a whole bunch of these left to blow up. We missed this up here. Yep, it's an FND container. Nice. Okay. What is it? It is gunpowder. Awesome. That's the thing I wanted the most. Excellent. Right. 
airplane. Now, where can we go? Is there anywhere on the along the way there is? There's a crate down here on the way back. We might as well go pick that up. And see if we can pick up some more of this stuff. We haven't been introduced to the Bandito operations yet, but we know they're coming. I think we don't get those until, until you get to the bigger island. But once you do... It's a really nice way to earn some extra things, including the moneda, which you will need to buy the overclocked weapons, which are the best thing in the game and something that I completely glossed over my first time playing the game. I didn't realize what they were. Like my son said, he he did the same thing. He's, he thought they were skins because you can buy them with real money. You can buy real money to turn it into moneda to buy these things, or you can do these special missions which earn the Moneda, or you can sometimes earn them from Bandito operations, the Moneda. And when I finally figured out what the hell they were, I was like, oh my God. What happens with the guns in the game is you saw us building mods on these guns earlier. But then there are unique weapons in the game that are somewhat powerful. Pretty nice guns. And then there are the over... But the thing with the unique weapons is you can't modify them at all. You can't change any of the mods on them. Whatever scope suppressor combination they have on there and all that stuff, that, that's, that stays on there. But then you get the overclocked weapons and they're like unique weapons with extra mod slots and you can mod the hell out of them. You can put additional... You can change the scope, you can change the suppressor, you can change all kinds of things on it. And they have extra mods that you can unlock using the components like gunpowder and stuff like that that make them do considerably more damage. So they end up being the thing that you really want to have access to. This was down here at this shack, wasn't it, where we met this fellow? Yeah, we should have got it then. Look at that. Sunset. Awesome. Just a gorgeous game, and I'm only going to say that 8 million times while I play it. It's the sort of thing that just makes playing a game like this that much more enjoyable. Like it's already fun. We can just climb directly. And it is the munitions helmet. Which is going to do slightly improved sock target blast and armor piercing defense. So Later on you can get some sets that greatly improve all of those things. Okay, what are we looking at here? What is this? Fuel the revolution. Okay. Alua Cave. That's where we need to go. Let's go out into the west. Alua Cave starts this quest series that I think results in getting the best animal companion in the game. That's the other thing is while we were doing all of that fighting, I should have grabbed Guapo and unleashed him when things get chaotic that's the time to grab your pets and let them go wild especially guapo and chicharron the ch the whole chicharron story is one of the most fun fascinating things in the whole entire game it's an incredible pet the story of how you get him is just a blast okay oh look at this pretty place I do. Oh, your Luas must be watching me. It's gorgeous. All right, Luas, what are we looking at here? Oh. 
That looks interesting. We do have a uh, the ability to jump down there. Hmm. Okay. There we go. What do we got here? Okay. So that apparently is the way out. If we wanted to come into the cave, we'd have to go th that way out the north side. And this is saying. Okay. What do we got down here? The way they handle the flashlight is interesting. How it's it's like the automatic flashlight. Okay, what do we have here? So this is that's the purple thing I was talking about. Yara suffers. The old ways slip into the dark, and we forget. We praise men and give them power. Once we worship something more, something greater. Triada, the Aluas, Ida, Oku, and Mimo Abosi. Sentinels three, ever watchful, ever waiting, ready to speak, if we have the patience to listen, ready to guide us if we have the faith to be led. Their relics have been spread far and wide in each region of Yara. If you bring them here, you may yet find what you seek. Aluso the Guardian will test you in body and spirit. If you are judged worthy, the weapons of Turiara will be yours. The Aluas are watching, their dance continues. So you gotta collect them and bring them here. Okay. Alright, in the meantime... What you get here is that I pray for guidance. Aluas, help me. Let's get a couple pieces of gear here. Aluas heart, the chest gear. And then there's nothing else in here. Okay. Yeah, so let's remember that we can bring stuff back here. Take a look at what these items are in a second. Fun. Oh, really? Far Cry 4 was a game where the eagles frequently attacked you. It was really annoying. They will still attack you in this game, but it's much, much less frequent. So it is hence much, much less annoying. It's a little dark, a little hard to see. Now let's see what we got for gear. We got another chess piece and it was this. Reduces movement noise. Oh, I'd rather have the defense. We have that, and oh, there was this thing over here, but it was this. Improves throwing knife and throwing axe damage. Getting caught on fire is so distracting, so it is the thing that I definitely like to work against having happen to me. We're facing north, and that's where we need to go. Oh, there's a road here. Okay, we can head straight out on that. All right. Let's see. Right like this. And there's a horse. Well, look at how fortuitous that was. All right, my Bubbles. friend. Be nice, horse. We don't have a weapon out, so he's not going to give us trouble. Which is really nice. Same thing with this guy. What is going on? I got a dog barking there. If you set a waypoint, it'll show you the blue line on your map. Danny Rojas. 
All right, what's this guy want us to do? My friend. Oh, I wanted to check something out here. On the workbench. Right, so rifles. <laughs> so the overclocked items are are account wide. Once you earn them, they're on your account across every save game. Uh, from what my son and I can tell, but they, I don't think they show up until you get off this island and get to the main one. All right, my friend. What do you got for me? We're down to business. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats. More recruits. Pfft. I'm a pirate first. Fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea. And we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente died in his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. Clara wants us to help Libertad? Take back the refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. Done. Suerte, mija. All right, my friend. Oh, he has a nice puppy. You want me to steal one? Been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. <laughs> Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Forgot there is a cart over here. I mean, not a cart. There's a Juan's Beaumont Valentina. Nice. Okay, oh. munitions bracelet. So rides. Ride will be delivered right to you. Which is a very nice thing. There's a lot of things in this game that are incredibly convenient. So if we go like this and say, pull me the ride. Gonna grab a ride. Your ride is on the way. All right, great. Now, where do we need to go? Way over here. This is Fuel Revolution and Fuel Revolution, both of those. And then there's one way over here, too, that has an FND cache on it. Okay. Those two are close together, and we're getting close to the end of the episode, so I'm going to go over here. Don't fuck with this seat. It's just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Juan, this is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Juan Valentina. She's that I'm destroying right now. Just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascist tiger. Whoa. You need to free her. Because you need those banditos. Four new Libertad crates revealed. See, that's why you got to do that. If, if it doesn't give you people for your banditos operations, then it gives you crate access. So, Got to do it. Here's the checkpoint we freed earlier. Oh, what's he got for me? What can you tell me? The FND has seized a fuel depot on the east side of Santuario. Libertad needs that oil. I appreciate it. Okay, another military target. Somewhere over here. Oh, and there's the east side one over there, which we already know about. We're on the way there. Okay. Which one would it be? That one? Okay. 
It's the one we're headed to, I think. There is one song on the radio station here that I absolutely love, and I wish it would, I wish it would just play every time I got in a car. Um, Will, you'll know it when I get to it, because I'll get too excited. It's an awesome little piece of music. Oh, how far away are we? Danny, where are you? Heading to the fuel depot. You don't want me to take it back from the army. You will not do that to my people. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. We want freedom. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. All right. I think I remember this fuel depot. Oh, jeez. Who's this jerk? Oh, God. Yeah, these guys, they suck. Not gonna let you shoot my people. Free Yara. Wapo, when things go to hell over here, we'll pull you out. I think there is... Yep, there's one alarm. And we can get a good look at it up here. Clara, I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use the flamethrower, but I don't want to use that other sniper rifle yet either because we can't... I don't think we can put a silencer on it yet. It's convenient that there's a workbench here. Let's take a look at it. Because it's the only sniper rifle we have, and what can we do with it? Can we put a muzzle on it? You can put a suppressor on it. Slightly reduces weapon noise. Slightly reduces weapon noise. And these ones require durable sills, which we don't have. Very quick to overheat and overheat. Yeah. Hmm. Russian suppressor. Huh. Okay. Let's do that. Optical socket. What do we have here? Sniper scope. It's an eight times scope. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to want. Mid scope. Eight times scope enable hold breath. Oh, wait, both of these do. What's the difference between the two of them? Just the way they look. And then it, obviously probably the reticule. Well, because they both don't do anything else. Hmm, okay. Let's do that one. Let's change that to armor piercing rounds. Oh, we don't have enough gunpowder. Okay. It could put a charm on there. Bullets. We can do appearances if we have enough paint cans. We have spray cans. What do we got? Oh, all blue. Wow, that's fancy. All red. Oh, the black and gold. I like that. Let's keep that that way. Okay, so we're going to put you in slot three. And then this is our cheapo sniper rifle. Okay. Love messing with the guns. My son especially, he's huge on customizing his guns. But I'm more about functionality over form. But he really likes to trick out the way they look too, so... What do we have over here? I got a sniper right there. Can't hide from me. And I got... Okay. So, in order to take that out, you're going to have to be basically where that sniper is. You got to come at it from the side. Because it's facing the other direction. You have to come at it from the sea. Hmm. Okay. This guy down there. All right, and then do we have a direct line down here? We do onto that rooftop. 
which could make it easier to get to. We got to take this guy out first, though. Oh, and he fell down. Crap. This valve will help drain the oil and prevent the explosion. Guapo. I need Guapo. Come on, vamos. Go, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. Uh-oh, that was bad. It didn't work. Not gonna make it. I gotta get Guapo down. Can't shoot through the chain, that sucks. You can't shoot through a chain link fence. Okay. Guapo, if I can get to you, I will, buddy. Okay. Give me this, dude. Ah, he's going down there. Oh, you sucker. Who's that? Darn it. Oh, I'm getting pelted by something. Who's, who's shooting at me from where? Oh, there's a guy right there. And is there a guy down here? Right there. Okay, what else do I have? I got a grenade. Didn't like that, did you? Come out behind me like that. You chased me all the way up here. Guapo, I'm trying to heal you, buddy. Go. Who else is left? Guapo. Oh, that's not what I want. Over there, go now. Guapo, get him. She's gonna eat you. Come on. There we go. There's the final kill. <laughs> Take that. It's all about the alarms. Later on, when I've got more gadgets and stuff, then it becomes a lot easier to. Uh, do this silently as well to individually knife everybody i'm sure there's some people who can do that particular one really well you know their players way better than me but this is enjoyable for me that croc looks mean he is mean so here's a person who's got if you want to save 10 damage meat then you can get large animal bait which can be useful this is just straight up stuff that they have for you to buy. These cost you yarn pesos, which we don't have a lot of yet. Um, having a shotgun is kind of a nice for dealing with animals. So this is a bunch of different tag containers through walls, blah, 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 blah. None of the stuff I really want. It's not the black market, which is Perico, the really useful thing. Your station is open again. You can take as much as you need. Okay, Danny. But now is the hard part. The Comandante Rosario is a murderer, and she's not going to stop. As long as she's alive, this island is safe. I hear you, Benito. FND crate. And we get the first light machine gun, if you want those sorts of things. 
a reminder that Commandante Rosario will be visiting each of the Tocaloro Ridge bases tomorrow for her annual, semi-annual inspection. Please be sure to follow your CEO's instructions to ensure a smooth inspection process. Yes, well, there's a bunch of fuel here. And then there's this guy. There's also this building up here. I know, I'm coming to see you. Just wait a second. Give me all my gizmos back. The key, which we already had. It's like cyberpunk. I'm going to turn them all off. Unless they're playing the one song that I love. I, got, I would love to have a mod. You guys will hear it when it finally pops up. It might take forever, though. Tell me what you know. There's a giant hog that swam all the way from Anton's fucking zoo on the island. Kill it, guerrilla. Help these people. Oh, my gosh. Giant hog. Okay. Mamutitos Glen. All right. Well, then. So that's going to do it for this episode. We're in a pretty good spot here. We need to go... We got this. We got some crates along the way. So, in order to grab all of these things, it would be a good idea to walk across the island. So, maybe that's what we'll do next episode. We'll traverse our way over here. Try to grab a bunch of these as we go. So, folks, that's it. Episode 2 in the books. I love this game. I love the Far Cry series. For the most part. And I really like... I really like three and I really like this one. This is, I think three is the perfect kind of Far Cry game, but this is my favorite one. And part of it has to do with just the graphics are awesome. And I like a lot of the extra things that, a lot of extra systems that they added to this game. I think they've done a pretty marvelous job with that. And, and we get a car. We got that car, but one, what about, the ride is on the way. There it is. So we can use Juan's car. It's interesting that Juan's car doesn't show up. Oh my god. See, this is what I was talking about when I meant unintentional comedy stuff. <laughs> the game can be really funny with stuff just by complete accident. Right, there we go. Well... So I will stop here and I will bid you all a good day. Everyone, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. Consider supporting my Patreon. It's in the description below. And me and Guapo will see you on the next episode. As always, if you... Well, I'm repeating myself. I'm just drunk on this game. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time.